In this video, I'll introduce one of the basic quantities in the theory of probability, known as a random variable, from which we'll build off further uh, ideas that we can use to calculate uh, the probability of certain events happening. So a random variable, generally denoted by capital X, is an object that can be defined by a set of possible values, which may be either discrete or continuous or a mixture of both of some random event. It's also defined by a probability distribution, which we'll see in the next video, over this set of possible values. A probability distribution is uh, basically a list of the possible outcomes of a random variable, of possible values, along with their corresponding probability of each event happening. So as a simple example, we can consider the random event of uh, rolling two dice. So this is a random event. And you want to know the sum of the value of the two dice. Okay, so this is a random variable and it can take on uh, a set of values, for example, two, if you get one and one, you can have three, if you get two and one or one and two and so on all the way until 12 uh, for which you would have six in one die and six in the other. then a probability distribution would associate to each one of these possible values of a random variable a given probability, which tells you the likelihood of this outcome. So the likelihood of getting a value of two as the sum of the, the two dice or the probability of getting a value of 12 or, or of rolling two sixes and so on. This is an example of a discrete random variable because it takes only on discrete quantities. We can consider a second example. So our random event is suppose we have a box full of transistors so this is a random event and we record the uh, the lifetime of the transistor that we drew. So by lifetime, I mean the amount of time that the, trans the transistor uh, was used for which it worked and then it just uh, burned out. So this could be, uh, we'll denote that by T, I mean by X. And now X is a continuous random variable because it can take any, uh, uh, any value bigger than zero. So it can be one second, 1 1.2 seconds, 1 1.3, 1 1.2 seconds, 3,565 seconds, any one of those values or any fraction of a second. So the lifetime of a transistor drawn, ran, randomly drawn from a box is an example of a continuous random variable. Okay, so this is discrete. This could be one nanosecond, 2.3 microseconds, three seconds, 
and so on. And this is an example, again, of a continuous random variable. In the next video, we'll build off from this idea of a random variable to define a series of functions, I usually term probability distributions, uh, for which we can uh, associate to each one of these events a certain probability, and this will allow us to calculate probabilities of different events or combinations of events.